Warning, cheaters may contain adult themes and strong language. Parents are cautioned that this program may not be suitable for children. Coming up on this episode of Cheaters. We know that he's together with his wife tonight. He has a choice to make. Open the damn door. Man, what's going on? This is all this. What's going on? What's going on? Come on, Adam. Come on. Did you know we were married? Are you going nowhere? He ain't going nowhere. Bitch. From Cheaters Surveillance Cameras, you are about to view actual true stories filmed live, documenting the pain of a spouse or lover caused by infidelity. This program is both dedicated to the faithful and presented to the false-hearted to encourage their renewal of temperance and virtue. Just like you're just trying to keep a big secret from me. I just can't go on anymore. I need to know the truth. I don't like being the one that has to show you this. Oh, Jesus. I asked her about him, and she said nothing was going on. Do you want to confront him? Oh, yeah. Take me there. Yeah, I got him. Hey, go. Go. Get up, camera. <laughs> Stop. Real reality television as brought to you by Cheaters Detective Agency's Private Eyes on Cheaters. I'm Joey Greco. In this installment of Cheaters, meet Erica Layton, a soft-hearted woman who believes her boyfriend may be seeing someone else. Desperate to uncover what he's up to, Erica visits with Cheaters to get the answer she is looking for. Erica Layton, age 33, a restaurant manager who is worried that her boyfriend may be setting his sights on some available females. Me and Jermaine started dating about two years ago. He was going through a divorce with his wife at the time, uh, whom he shares a business with. And it's been very hard for him, and I was there for him and have been there for him. We became very close. He's, very, he's a very good person, and I feel that um, I want a commitment with him since his divorce has been final. And uh, I'm not for sure if he can commit with me. I just have a gut feeling that I guess woman's intuition that something's not right. I try any kind of way to arouse him, but he's too tired from working. Um, drunk at times from going out, he says, but I think he's just tired of being with someone else and he's just too tired to do anything with me. I just want it to be like it used to be, for us to have fun and being lovey-dovey and just, you know, basically doing the thing that we used to do, spend time together, uh, sharing intimate moments uh, and just you know, those nice little romantic things that really matter in our relationship, you know, I really do love him. If you suspect infidelity in your relationship, Cheaters licensed investigators may be able to provide you assistance. Exercise your right to be informed. Jermaine Caldwell, age 31. A small business owner who may be looking for available women to start a new kind of venture. Investigation Day 2. Cheaters agents camp out at the suspect's workplace in hopes of catching a break in the case. The waiting game eventually pays off with suspect Jermaine Caldwell showing his face as he hurriedly departs his place of business. He gets into his truck and speeds off down the boulevard to a strange apartment complex. This day of investigation gets off to a bad start. Caldwell is spotted some 40 minutes later with an unknown female on his arm. She seems very happy to be with suspect Caldwell, as evidenced by the huge smile on her face. Cheaters inspectors follow the two after he gives his new sweetheart a much appreciated smooch. After a short drive, the two pull into a popular bar and bistro. Once inside, the constant touching and admiration continues, despite the fact that they're in a public setting. It's nothing but smiles and contentment as the loving couple leaves the restaurant and heads back to the car. Cheaters PIs follow suspect Caldwell and his companion back to her place of residence. The pair vanishes for a good hour or so before Caldwell comes back out. The suspect checks his watch and makes a mad dash for his truck. Cheaters detectives stay behind him for several miles until it becomes evident that he's making a stop at another restaurant. 
He goes inside and reemerges minutes later with complainant Layton by his side. She appears a little annoyed due to his late arrival. Nonetheless, the two take off back to the apartment they share. Cheetah's PIs pack it in for the day. Investigation day three. Cheetah's operatives decide to check up on suspect Caldwell at his place of employment. After a while, he comes out with his female companion, who has now been positively identified as Shankita Caldwell, his current wife. It has been discovered that the two have been separated, but it appears as if they've patched things up. After a short drive, suspect Caldwell and his wife decide to celebrate their renewed relationship at a local bar. After two and a half hours, the couple returns to the truck and suspect Caldwell heads back to the apartment he shares with his girlfriend, complainant Layton. Cheater's detectives lie low at the Caldwell Layton residence to make sure there's no monkey business going on while Erica is at work. Suspect Caldwell's thought to be estranged wife pulls into the complex and heads for the door. Little does Caldwell or his wife know that Erica Layton has installed a hidden camera in the apartment she shares with Caldwell. Suspect Caldwell has some kind of nerve, as proven in the video footage as well as a recorded phone conversation. Cheaters sleuths cannot wait another minute to let complainant Layton know exactly what's occurring right under her nose. The case is closed and the time of reckoning is just around the bend. After the break, the confrontation. With Jermaine's betrayal clearly displayed, Cheaters prepares to inform Erica of the disheartening results. Quickly losing hope, Erica finds the will to continue on. Erica, thanks for being with us tonight. Our detectives have some information. Are you ready to take a look at that? Yeah. As the investigation started, the detective picked up Jermaine, leaving work. He jumps in his truck and stops at an apartment complex. He was observed with a young lady. They travel together to a restaurant. As they're inside, they give each other a kiss. This is ex-wife. That's his ex-wife? Yes. He takes her back to the apartment, hustles up into the truck. Mm -hmm. He comes and picks you up. I had no clue. Now, this woman that we've identified as his ex-wife co-owns your boyfriend's business. Yes, and that's I know not that. a surprise to you. Mm -hmm. Now, on this day, they go to a local bar and spend some time there for happy hour. And this is really going to be more disturbing because on this day in the investigation, Erica, his ex-wife goes over to your home. Unfortunately, we had you place a hidden camera inside. He serves some drinks and presents her with a gift. She shows her gratitude. In my apartment. Oh, God. There is additional information. Mm -hmm. He's told you that he's divorced. Yes, he has told me that he's divorced. Our detectives did a search mm -hmm. of public records. They have not found any entries for any divorce decrees. So technically, he is still married yes, to this is. woman. We know that he's together with his wife tonight. Mm -hmm. I'm going to call the detective right now and find out where they are. It's Joey. OK. They're at a nightclub right now. They've been there for a while. OK. All right. Yeah. OK. They're in the car? Yeah, get ready, man. All right. Let's hurry up, because they're in the car. OK. You see, is this us? 
All right, I see a pickup. All right, right turn right here. Where's the car? Which is the car? Black truck, black truck, stop, stop. Come here. Open the door. Open the damn door. Man, what what the f is running? She's all in. What's going on? Did you know we was together? You did know you? we was married, bitch? Did... Come on out here. Come on out here. Come on. Did you know we was married? Huh? I told you he wasn't going nowhere. He ain't going nowhere. Bitch. Huh? He ain't going nowhere. As long as me and him What's together, up? he ain't going nowhere. What's, What's going on, Tamara? I ain't told you. Hold up, man. Hold up. What, what the f is going on? I thought you said you loved me. Hold up, hold up. I love hold you. Hold up, this woman. If he carried his hold up, hold up. I told you. You. Huh? you need to make your mind up. Look at these motherfucking cameras. These motherfucking cameras out my motherfucking face. So tell me something. His mind up now. Me. Coming up next, the conclusion. So tell me something. His mind up now. Me. His mind is made Watch up. Watch out. Watch out, watch out. Go. Hold up, hold up. Get in the truck. 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 Get in Yours oh, gonna be baby. gone in a minute. Hey, go, go. Get your ass in the damn truck. Right. Tell him who you Now, hang on, hang on. Jermaine, Jermaine, just calm down for a second, okay? What is all this bull? Faint, just calm down for a second, okay? Man, get these mother cameras out of my mother. Face, I man. Some closure because you've been lying to me about working late and, and, yeah, being, with, working and you've late. been with. I have been, been working late. late. Well, we've seen you working late. We we've mean. seen you working late at the restaurant. We've seen you working. What late is at all the car. this? It's about the truth. She needed to do this for herself. Get out of my mother truck, man. Hey, 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 hey. hey. Man, this, this bull. You're right. I it got is. your bull. I've been with you. She man, was get with the you. Cameras on my face, Jermaine. Jermaine, calm down. Never gotten down. Calm down. Okay, we've established that. He told her, he told her that he was divorced. I see some papers. That's what he told her. They showed me your marriage life. Okay, we did a search. It's bull. Calm hey, down. Look, all you got, got to say to you people, no, man. Just tell her the truth. I ain't got to say to y'all. Just tell her the truth. Tell truck, me man. the truth, Jermaine. Get in the front. I love you. Jermaine, get up off of me, man. Jermaine. Get up off of me, man. Hey, Jermaine. Man, y'all get up off of me. Look, you changed your mind, but you didn't tell her. No, because I did love her. I did. Give me some closure. You gonna be with me, or are you gonna continue to be with her? I don't know what the f I'm gonna do right now. Who you gonna be with? Tell her you coming home. Tell her. Tell her we buying a house. Tell her you having a house bill right now. Tell me. Is it true what she's saying? Yeah. Or do I need to bleach her up? Tell her what she, tell her. Just get in the damn truck. For what? Tell her. Tell her you're coming home. Tell her I'm about to have a baby. Tell her the truth. Is this true? I don't think that's unfair, Jermaine. That's my wife. This is my wife. OK. I'm we trying to make things that, right but... with my wife. But she knew about this. She knew he wasn't divorced. No, she did not. She knew we had a business together. She knew that you had a business together. She knew together. he wasn't she going didn't... nowhere. She did not know that you were divorced. Come on, late night working. I don't play that. Late night working doing what? He was working all right. Did you know he was living with her? I knew where he was living at, but that was on her to fall in love with somebody that's married. You can't fall in love with so married her fault. You know, that doesn't make sense, man. Let's get in the truck. I mean, y'all get her on. I'll talk to you later no. on this. I'll talk to you don't, later. Don't bother. I'll change the locks. Don't bother coming again. This is going to be messed up. We got our shoes. We got the shoes. Well, I think you did a lot to take some control back of the situation. Don't you? Yes. Some closure. Some closure. Yeah. Just, I'm sad, I'm hurt. 
There's just a lot of things rushing through my head right now. After the confrontation, Erica affirms that her intuitions are always right when it comes to dishonest boyfriends. Coming up shortly, Cheaters tells you of her plans. But now, Cheaters presents Carrie Hartley, previously exposed with her boyfriend's closest buddy. Carrie sits with Cheaters to recount her motivation behind such an inappropriate exploit. Carrie Hartley, age 32, Carrie comes to Cheaters to give her explanation why she had inappropriate relations with her boyfriend's best buddy. When Jesse and I walked out of Planned Parenthood, we saw the crew and we were actually just looking around to see what all the commotion was about. And then we saw Mike and I was mostly embarrassed and um, ashamed. What the hell is this? What, 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 what's going on here, man? What are you, what are you, what are you doing? Hey, 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 come, come on. on. Come on, Mike. Come, come on. on. Come no, on. no, stop. I'm not. What's going on here? On. You. You've been on camera, man. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. I brought you to my home. You're my friend. You're my, and you. You scum bitch. You two deserve each other. Tonight, you. You. Just that's watching yourself waste away, man. Well, I can he understand. could give me more than what he can. He's got a future ahead of himself. He has nothing. From all the fighting and um, all the stress of us not having any place to live and anywhere to go, um, we did lose the baby. And um, we have been very hurt over it. It's supposed to be like this. What are you doing here? Get your pregnancy test, Mike. Was your kid or mine? You think you can have kids? Yeah. I have kids. You can I see what old man can do in a minute, buddy. You all feel good about yourself. Thank God I haven't been recognized. Um, I would probably deny that it was even me. <laughs> Uh, maybe say it was a twin sister or something, but I would not want to uh, admit that I was the person that people people saw on TV and that, that I um, betrayed to be. I'm sorry that um, I've embarrassed myself and my family and friends, and I am sorry that. Jesse and I lost a baby because of all the stress and um, trauma that this whole um, show and our actions have caused. Um, it's something that we never can get back and um, we will always regret. Erica Layton informed Cheaters producers that she has changed the lock on her door and will call the police if Mr. Caldwell ever comes back to her residence. She says that Caldwell was furious to find out that all his belongings were scattered out on the grass near her apartment door. Erica seemed quite pleased to discover that some local residents took it upon themselves to rummage through his personal items. Laughing uncontrollably, Erica comments he got what was coming to him. For his part, Jermaine Caldwell says that Erica really didn't mean that much to him, but he's grateful that she took him in when his marriage was on the rocks. Mr. Caldwell affirms that it would be pointless to inform Erica that he was still married, stating that it would have only added more pain and suffering. He claims that she is head over heels in love with him and admits that he really didn't know what to do once he got in over his head. Shankita Caldwell confirms that she will stand by her man even though he admits to sleeping with various females, including Erica. In her husband's defense, she says that he's often propositioned by many different women, which in turn make it difficult for him to remain monogamous. Shankita affirms that she will allow him to move back in and looks forward to getting their marriage back on track.